What's not going to change in property investing in the next 10 years? Yep. People still need shelter, Bryce. Mm. That's definitely it's a human need. Not going to it's change. It's a basic need. It's a basic need. House proud will still be a thing in ten years' time, mm-hmm. um, and so location and status and success and aspiration, I think, will still be a thing for the vast majority of people. So, if you can combine those two things, it means that people are still going to want to live in the premium areas where it offers them convenience and lifestyle drivers, and they're going to remain house proud, Bryce. So if I'm going to remain house proud, it's those areas where the stock is in limited supply, uh, but high demand, where you're going to see consistent long-term capital growth, is my view. Uh, The principle of buying the right asset will not change. (laughs) Mm. I think what what I do think is by 2029 we will probably get more used to being in higher densities. Yes, but I certainly don't think that uh, uh, if you were to buy properties that the bank can't fund, if you were to buy properties that were fundamentally oversupplied, if you were to buy properties that were not next to a, a easy accessible to economic activity. I think that they will still prove to be um, poor performers in 2029 mm-hmm. as much as they are in 2019. So um, that will not change. Another thing that's not going to change, Ben, in 10 years from now is money will still be very simple. The concepts, um, the process you need to implement, mm-hmm. the structure, that won't change, Ben. But also the fact that people's behaviour is going to stuff it up. Um, that that won't change as well. Now, technology will help. Yep. Uh, people's access to their banking records being fed into them won't help. Yep. But st- still, people will get in the way if they don't make a choice to uh, seed into their money management. There will be a need for rental properties. That's not going to change. There's ultimately, through population growth, through movement of people, there will always be people who will need short-term accommodation. And we're not talking you know, sort of nightly accommodation, but basically short term, six months, 12 months, where they're bedding themselves into a new city uh, for the job prospects or the transfer they've done. So there will always be a rental market, always. Now, in terms of the different types of rental markets, that may play out. Um, You know, we see that the government has an appetite to try and encourage um, these constructions of new properties to, to build to rent. So that could be a thing. Um, uh, and we know it's a thing internationally and others, but fundamentally there will always be people who will want to rent. You will still get dividends if you plan um, today. So if you were to actually put some thought into where you want to end up and how you're going to get there, that is never going to change ever. Mm. You know, plan to become what you plan to become is what you say, but if you plan to fail, you fail to plan. And the fact that... um, if you were if, uh, property investing, if you can take the mystery out of it, um, it comes down to this: determine where you want to be, <laughs> put an engineer a process in mm-hmm. place to work out what it's going to take to get Model there. Model your cash flows, and work out if you've got job security, job stability. Have you got any surplus cash flow, and what do you need to buy? I mean, that it seems like because we've said it so many times over two hundred and fifty-one episodes, Ben, but it seems so um, so crazy that someone would enter.